In 2018, I'm trying to ride a motorcycle every day and document every day that I do. Hashtag 365 motorcycle. This video is five nonstop exciting days of that journey. And we're back. Yep, yep. Today's Monday, the 21st of May. And uh, yeah, I was thinking about, I already recorded this segment, and then I was thinking about, you know, that was kind of boring, but I'll talk about something because I was talking about this with one of my neighbors who rides in it. Sure enough, a real world situation came up today. So my neighbor is like, you ever notice like anybody who doesn't ride, the first thing they ever talk to you about, they're like, oh, I know, I have a friend and uh, he died on a motorcycle or uh, I have a friend, it's usually a friend of a friend. They don't know anybody directly, but they always know somebody that died or got maimed or almost died and that's their lead in lead-in story like who the hell else would be like uh, oh you had a baby oh yeah my neighbors had a baby and uh, yeah the, the poor boy died in high school uh, he got leukemia it was terrible I mean like who, who, the, who the F starts off with some type of dreadful horror story but apparently everybody who doesn't ride a motorcycle that's their lead-in or if you live out in California it's like you're not one of those idiots who lane splits are you and then they tell you some story and I was like, I finally got sick of it. Like one of the guys today like sees me walking out and says that I'm like, you're not one of those idiots who uh, distracted drives all the time, talks on your phone, texts, even if it's hands freeze all over the road. You know, the people that like almost kill me every day. I am just like, I just, I so get sick of how these cage drivers, man, are like so uptight about lane splitting and they, you know, the one person that whips past them going 80 miles an hour. Yeah, I, I see it too, but you know, the majority of the people that I see riding a motorcycle every day are doing it pretty safely. Uh, I'd say there's a higher percentage of cars that are uh, don't take driving as seriously because they're in a big old cage with airbags and I don't know, they think because you can do something, you should do it like, oh. I can just put my phone on the dash on a, some suction thing and hands-free that means it's safe so anyway I just do find it interesting that that's like you know and, and everyone's like you know then the people are like be careful be careful going home you know what I'm fucking careful all the time every day going home like here's what I do other than ramble on these videos which sometimes I just cut off because there's a lot of traffic and I gotta pay more attention uh, I pretty much freaking just pay attention to driving all the time I'm situationally aware I'm not engaged in a two-way conversation with somebody where I gotta listen to what they're saying you know I don't honestly I don't think recording is really any more dangerous and I've, I've than not recording uh, if you're by yourself because when I have not been recording these are the thoughts that go through my head anyway so I'm thinking about them I'm just not verbally speaking them and it was funny I was uh, me and Mrs. Smith went dirt riding both days back to back and the first day I took the Africa twin and the Africa twin was pretty easy to ride but uh, you know it's the first time I took it off road so I had to concentrate like a lot more and think about stuff uh, got a flat in the Africa twin so on Sunday I took the uh, I took the 250L and I ride that bike a lot uh, off-road so I'm super comfortable with it and I was thinking like I don't really think about riding that bike you know it just really comes uh, second second nature so I don't know I find that interesting that uh, you know one bike I got to pay more attention than the other bike and I'm not saying I don't No, this is rambling rambling on but who cares right I said it's free entertainment there's a fast forward button you don't have to listen to my to my rants but i gotta get this out of my system today so so yeah the like i was saying i just i just get so frustrated with the uh you know the hater stories it's it's so easy in society to pick on the, the you know the the easy stuff it's like motorcycles are are are, are uh, 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 my parking rant i'll tell you that time uh probably talked about it on my video to tucson university of arizona i think that's what tucson is I don't think it's ASU. I think it's University of Arizona, but I don't know. It's whichever one's in Tucson, right? So they will not let you park in their parking decks. And I was like pissed, man. I'm like, this is a public institution. 
Look at this fuck here. Oh, I don't care. I gotta go slow so I don't scrape my car. So I'll just stop in the middle of a road. Yeah, you could stop. That's another classic boot around here. If you don't have the time to get in the driveway, then don't, don't do it. But yeah, so back to my parking rant, which uh, totally blown keeping this short today. You know, the parking thing that, that killed me there is I asked the person, like, why, why, I talked to one of the heads of parking. I was really annoyed by this because my bike had to sit in a dirt public parking lot for the whole week. Granted, it was free, but it was behind a bunch of bars where drunks walk home every night and I was just worried about my bike all the time and when it rained it got wet you know blah 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 so they're like well they're like well motorcycles are too fast and too loud that's why we don't let them in the parking deck I'm like uh you know what else is loud and fast you have these rich kids cars that are going to your school and you're not banning them from the parking deck so I don't know but again it's like let's pick on the motorcycles because there's not enough of us out there and uh, and no one no one cares so we'll just we'll just deal with them I think we're doing some society some great service and the real issues uh, we won't we won't deal with so all right well <clears throat> God God only knows if I'll use this rant because it was way too long but anyway with that peace out and we're back. Sorry, I couldn't let the rant go. So, one other thing I was thinking about is like, from all those stories from what I was saying, it's like, unfortunately, and I think this is true in life, right? People remember the bad stuff, not the good stuff. So, I mean, I think if you're riding, I mean, you, have it, you have it, a responsibility to represent uh, the riding community in a positive way. And I guess to each his own, but you know, this weekend we were out at a brewery and there were a lot of uh, loud cruisers there. And oh my God, like hell, I like bikes. And just uh, we're sitting under a covered structure at the brewery we're at having one beer and lunch. And Jesus, like just how loud those effing bikes are. It's like, I know why people freaking, you know, hate, hate bikers because of, uh, you know, that, that's the experience they have. They don't, they didn't care that, you know, I'm on my Honda and the three people I'm with are in BMWs and they're as quiet as a sewing machine. They were just remember probably the, you know, the loud, the loud obnoxious bikes that uh, interfered with them having a good relaxing time for probably three minutes. So, I don't know. I said, again, you know, it's like uh, riding around. Don't be a, don't be a, don't be an a-hole, you know, be respectful and hopefully people won't hate bikes. So. All right, with that, peace out. And we're back. Today is, I gotta go over the double speed bump, that's right. Today is Tuesday, May 22nd. Headed home from work on Young and See. Yep, yep. And I'm taking that little detour I've taken before okay, but uh, it's still so nice out so nice out I can't believe it I went out uh, went out actually to the auto store to get a replacement light bulb for Thumper that is uh, Mrs. Smith's F650 GS the single version and uh, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm trapped in work today. Even in the suburban hell that I work in, I would rather, uh, I'd rather be outside. So yeah, there was uh, one or two people on Instagram that commented I should do uh, you know, a review of the, the NC versus the Africa twin and uh, yeah, I definitely want to do that. I, I still need to formulate some opinions. Uh, probably need to take the NC out a little bit more on some uh, unpaved roads. And I need to ride the AT more. Uh, I got a flat, still waiting for tubes to come in. So I uh, got to take care of that. So definitely a good idea though. <sighs> Yawn. That I'll follow up on. So, well. Uh, that's pretty much all I got. Nothing exciting happened today. 
This is probably it. Most excitement is riding my bike, which is always fun. So, alrighty then. Well, with that, peace out. And we're back. Today's Wednesday. It is the 23rd of May. And uh, I teleworked today. And I'm on my way now to the auto supply store. And that's kind of a funny story. I mean, funny to me, a little annoying, but. So, uh, I just took the wheel off the Africa Twins when the tubes come in. I can uh, fix that flat and uh, the other thing I needed to do was switch out the bulb on Thumper, the BMW 650 GS single. So that's important. So uh, I got the bulb when I was at work because there's an auto supply place and I figured I'd walk over during lunch because I just eat at my desk. So I asked my wife, I said, hey, look in the manual, in the manual, by the manual I mean the binder binder where we keep all our maintenance records so so uh, cough coming sorry <coughs> the coughs are back so yeah so uh, let's look in the binder she takes a picture of the bulb uh, the packaging because I keep everything like a nut so it says 8-7 and we changed it at 52,000 miles so I was thinking to myself like huh you know I didn't uh, it seems like uh, we have a ridden thumper at all then because that is not a lot of miles uh, you know since I remember changing that bulb so okay so anyway uh, pull the bulb out today and I got to pull the manual out because I couldn't remember how to do it and on, on my uh, 650 GS twin that I had I knew how to do it because that bulb burned out all the time so you can probably see where this is going so I finally get the uh, thumpers bulb out and I look at it and I'm like huh this does not look like the same bulb so I go back in, I grab the, you know, the maintenance binder. Sure enough, it says H7. And I'm like, oh, that's definitely not the right bulb. But it says 52,000 miles. So I look at Thumper, turn Thumper on. Thumper only has 50,000 miles. So I was like, aha. I probably got busy uh, one night and distracted or wasn't paying attention. And I put that bulb thing in the wrong binder. So, so now I'm going back for a... Uh, H4 bulb and I have an H7 and good thing is I would have been pissed if I bought the wrong bulb because I cut it open I'm sure they wouldn't have taken back but the nice thing is I have one now or not nice thing I guess the silver lining is I have a bulb for Mrs. Smith 700 when that uh burns out or perhaps that uh will fit in some of the other bikes I have no idea so uh long story I thought it was interesting I guess the lesson there is uh Read the damn manual. If I would have done that the first time, I wouldn't be going out to the store now. But I needed a purposeful trip. So, all right. Well, with that, check it out. Peace out. And we're back. Yep, yep. Today is Thursday. I believe it is the 24th. Headed to the doctor for an allergy shot. Pretty much just like every Thursday. Except for next Thursday because I am going on a work trip to the coast. And I will be taking my bike. Yep, yep. Well, that's my plan. So, Yeah, so uh, still great weather here. Still unseasonably cool. Still coughing. Cough coming. <coughs> the cost been getting worse again. No idea what's going on. Kind of. I think the uh, medical profession just likes to wear you down. They figure you'll give up. Uh, <laughs> just asking about stuff. But all right, I digress. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, long weekend this weekend. Got to pack for my trip trips out to Monterey so I think the cool thing is I'm gonna stay at uh, Laguna Seca the campground nothing's happening at the track 
So I'm pretty excited. Never done that. Got a buddy who does it a fair amount. Uh, usually when we go to the races, we like to be uh, in town because they have like a bike night and that's where all the cool stuff is. So but I'm looking forward to camping out, especially if the weather's good. So, all right, well, uh, let's just keep it at that. I think this is my first filming of the day. I didn't do any in the morning. So be a lot. it's a lot easier to edit when I only do one video because then I don't have to go through and remember which one I did and pick the right one, which means I got to watch them all. So just keep it to one. Life would be simple. Peace out. And we're back. Today is Friday. It is May 25th. I am headed into work in the rain, which is uh, very surprising for it to be May 25th and for us to be getting this much rain. But uh, it does happen periodically. So all my rain gear on glad I really didn't put my winter jacket away that's my solid jacket that was a good call just leave it that was a good call just leaving it on a chair for for a few weeks inside of the house yep yep so yeah uh, only working a half day today excited about that long weekend excited about that uh, today I think I'll be putting it to fixing the flat in the Africa Twin. <laughs> I changed the light bulb in the F650 GS, but uh, as I was doing that, the headlight assembly seemed pretty loose, so that's all part of the garage. Got to fix that today or this weekend. And uh, yeah, I guess that's that's. Uh, Pretty much, uh, pretty much a story. Don't think it's going to be raining, drying, uh, raining, raining coming home. So probably won't need to blow the bike off. Gotta put the blower away as well. So go back in the shed. All right. Well, guess I'll say what I usually say. Peace out. Well, I was pretty lazy that week. I only rode two different bikes to work. I'll try to be better next week, but no promises.